What up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be shown a bunch of pregnancy things. I actually don't even know what she's gonna show me, to be entirely honest with you. And I have to tell Megan what these things are, but I'm probably not gonna know what they are. I'm so excited, because some of them are just so bizarre, and I'm really interested to hear like your crazy exaggerations of what they might be. Also, we wanna fill you in. Should we fill them in on Scout at all? Yeah, Scouty's been really sick for like the past on and off for maybe like a month or so now. And it's really random. Like he'll be totally fine for a week or two. And then all of a sudden he starts like throwing up and the days that he throws up, it's like one or two days straight. And it's every 10 to 20 minutes. It's like really bizarre. We cannot figure out what happened. At first we thought it was his food. So we switched his food. He recovered from that, but then he got sick again. So we've been doing a bunch of blood tests. We still don't have like a ton of answers, but right now we know that his white blood cells are elevated, which means there's either some sort of like infection or illness. So we're just gonna keep testing and hope he gets better. Yeah, luckily the vet called today and said that his kidney function looks good, his liver function looks good. He doesn't have Addison's disease, which is one thing that they were worried about. But I guess the normal range, the high of normal range for white blood cells is 17,000 and he's at 27,000. So clearly his body is going through something. We just can't figure out what it is. So he's going this Friday for an ultrasound of his stomach because they think maybe something's inflamed or you know something's happening in there. So we will definitely keep you guys posted because we know you guys love Scout as much as we do and I don't know what I'd do if anything ever happened yeah. to him, so. Nothing's gonna happen to him. He's gonna be yeah. fine. We just gotta figure it out. He's right by our feet right now. Yeah. Anyway, let's jump right into the video. Number one, let's go, hit me. I'm gonna ace this, 100%. Mm, I don't know about that. No, I'm going to. We will start with something that should be easy. Tampon. It's a bra. What kind of bra? Breastfeeding bra. Yeah. Yeah. Close enough, yeah, nursing bra. Nursing bra. Okay, I don't have to get the names 100% right, as long as I... As long as you get the gist of it. Yeah. Okay, something also kind of easy. Diaper panties, for you. So Yeah, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> They're disposable underwear. Yeah, when you poop yourself. No, afterwards when there's like, you know, blood and stuff coming out. I would wear these and then I can just throw them out. Okay. Let's step it up a little. This one still may be a little bit easy. Oh, that's your pregnancy pillow, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I know this for it a couple reasons. It kind of looks bizarre though, like. Well, yours isn't that big, yeah. but that one looks like Squidward's nose. I only know this for a couple different reasons. Number one, Megan's is super comfortable and I want to steal it every single Steven time. Steven does try to steal it. Like when I roll over in the middle of the night and go to like the other side of my pillow support and then I roll back to my pregnancy pillow, Steven's like straddling it or like cuddling it. Scout lays Scout on it. Scout like, loves everyone it. wants to steal my pregnancy pillow. Scout will literally jump onto her bed and always put his head on the pregnancy pillow. It's yeah. actually the cutest thing yeah, he like literally like arms on each side, head on the pillow. He just straddles it. It's so cute. When you're not pregnant anymore, you're that pillow it. is mine. Nope. Mine. It's so comfortable. I should bring and that it's on so my flight. Like, thick and supportive. As a neck pillow. That'd be crazy. You'd <laughs> be like, what prank. the hell? Peanut ball. Yep. You knew that one. I knew that one. That was easy. Let's step it up a little bit. Oh, 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 I saw, okay, so I saw this at our hospital tour. Okay, yeah. I know that's to clean the poussoir. Okay, do you know what it's called? No. Come on, poussoir cleaner? Perry bottle. Perry bottle. But this one has like the little angle, so it just shoots right up there instead of having to like maneuver it and, you know, gravity. Nice job. I told you I'm gonna ace this. I have no doubt in my mind that I'm getting 100%. So far you are on track for 100%. Uh, 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 Doppler. Good job, wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job, Bubs. Yeah. I'm shocked that like you just like instantly knew the name. I'm a dog, I am a dog. That's okay. why Scout and I get along so well. Some sort of a diuretic for sure. Uh, colace, colon, pooper, uh, shit, what are they called? Fiber, <laughs> no, not fiber, uh, laxative. Close, stool softener. Stool, okay, same thing. same thing. Yeah. Ice pack. Four. Your boobs? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like your little nipple goes right in yeah. between there. Yeah. <laughs> you won't have to worry because I'll be holding it. Okay. Sorry guys, it's been a really long day. This is where we're gonna trip them up. Some sort of abdomen support. What the frick? <laughs> uh, yeah, belly band or like an abdominal binder yeah. after everything's like settling back into place. Compression socks, come on. Stockings. So annoying. Okay, or whatever. Last easy one. Yeah, yeah, um, for chafing. <laughs> it's for pain, chafing. like on the skin. It's a spray for your skin uh, down there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I used to use it. <laughs> what? Yeah. For down there? Yeah. Interesting. Don't worry Dude, about it. Let's step it up a little bit. Definitely something for the nipples. 
it's two nipple shaped things. What are you like, oh, <laughs> how does he get this? This is crazy. Yeah, what nipple. You, what do you think it's for? What do you think they're called? Nipple rings. You think these are called nipple rings? Nipoli rings. What do you think it's called? If he's chewing on your nipples too hard. Okay, they're called silverettes. Essentially, they like stop you from leaking. Yeah. So not if he's chewing on your nipples too hard. <laughs> okay, what about this? Pump, titty pump. Okay, okay, what about this? Something with the breast milk, you put the bottle in there. Is that a warmer? No. no? Sanitizer? No. Put your titties on there too? Mm-hmm. It's an electronic. Electronic pump. Breast Titty pump. pump. Titty pump. Up the jam. Pump it. Okay. Oh. What about this one? Also a titty pump, but a manual one. Not manual. Manual as in you do it. No, this one That's you literally just sucks onto you and it just collects. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, I can do that for free. <laughs> now it's gonna get hard for real. Oh, 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 grab the baby's head. Are you serious? Pull that, pull that bitch out. What is it called? Zing. I don't know. I don't need to know what these things are called. Forceps. Forceps. Give the baby milk and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> For flavor to make the baby want to breastfeed. <laughs> You're not like too far off. It has to do with breastfeeding. The laxative cookies? Lactation cookies. Lactation cookies. Yeah. yeah. So they're like supposed to increase your, bre your milk supply. I'm going to be eating these like crazy. I will too. <laughs> What about this? Sorry, what am this, I This like thing. This Is that not to pull yourself up? For. Like while you're giving birth? Yeah, like a, a labor squat bar, labor squat rack. How, why do you know all of this? This is like my 12th child, Megan. Do you have something to tell me? Yeah, I have 12 kids. Okay, what about this one? <laughs> it's not a I don't know. That one, I'm at a loss. It's a perennial wand. So it's like before, like a couple weeks before you're ready to give birth, you have to kind of stretch things out down there. And if you don't want to do it by hand. Okay, okay. Scout is here, please. Then you would use this. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. As you can tell, I am clearly ready to have this baby because I know more yeah, than I'm, Megan. I'm shocked how much you knew. Like, I really am surprised. And I, I have to say, like, I do commend you. You have been very, very great. Steven's come to like every birthing class, every doctor's appointment. I catch him all the time like watching little TikToks or videos about newborn babies and what to do and it's really sweet. I, I do think you are ready and I'm excited. I'm excited and I'm already I'm already a dad to scout and you know he means more to me than anything in this world other than Megan obviously and we're excited we're and we so thank you guys so much for following along on the journey. Next video we're gonna show you the nursery updated again yeah. with the new chair because yeah. it's awesome. And, and hopefully the rest of the decor will be done by then too. And guys we are literally two months out from this Thing Crazy. Happening. And by the way, baby feels so low. Like we might be less than two months out. I could, I could see it coming sooner. He's like down there, ready to go. So last thing I'll say, if you want to follow us on TikTok at Stephen Meg, we are posting just really real, raw things, and the feedback's actually been amazing. Like so many moms are connecting with Megan and giving like advice and feedback and things like that. So make sure to follow us on TikTok. Follow along because you'll probably see everything there first before you see it on YouTube. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.